Good morning. Okay. Let me get my goodies put away here. Oh, yeah. By the way, um, the reason why Clive's on here, he's going to a funeral. He's going to a funeral? Yeah. Oh, that's right. He told me. He told me last week, I think. Oh. Okay. Um, that's too bad. Um, okay, let me get my book out. So, how was everybody this morning? Fine. Good. Good. Okay. Okay. So, Tyler, you know what? I really like that room that you're zooming in. I, you know, it almost looks like a almost looks like a nice virtual background. <laughs> So, so all you would need to do is like close the closet all the way and move that green paper behind you. I think that's what. Yeah, but the flowers and plants look really pretty. I love the closets, how they're the, it's kind of like a Venetian blind looking. So that's a really cool, cool place to be in. One of these things I'll fix up with where it looks cool like that, where when you. You know, so I don't have to, well, I don't know. I'm having a lot of fun with the virtual backgrounds though. Cause every day it's something new and I like the, I like the different homes I can be. In. <laughs> so it's kind of fun. So, okay. Um, today is the 20th. Um, did you, Tyler, did you finish that class? Because. Oh, nice. Um, so, you know, so you know how to study for that one, right? Just like you did, you take your time on the exams. You look and double check your answers so you make sure you get a good score on all your exams, if you, just like you would do, right? So let me know if you need any help with that, okay? Um, and um, and good job with the first class. I'm very proud of you that you did so much. Of, you know, you did all of that really by yourself. So that's amazing, and and thank you. That's awesome that you're. Uh, um, take the initiative to get that done. Sometimes that can be easy to slack, slack off and you know, like that. Um, pauses. Um, so, Tyler, was it you that said you knew Excel? Or was that Andrew, I wonder? Okay, so I, th I think that was Andrew. I remember one of my students, because I was saying that I wanted to learn Excel, and um, I remember one of my students said, oh, I know what I can teach you when you have time. And I thought, oh, I'm going to have to remember that. So, but that wasn't you, so it must have been Andrew then. Um, okay. Let me get a hold of him in here. Okay, so let's see. Poster boards, that's what we have going today. And I have I have an assignment that I made yesterday. Um, it's questions on that video that we saw um, with Brittany. Um, remember the savings and checking and that kind of thing. It was just questions on that video. And I tried to look for the video and I just couldn't find it. Um, that one with a frog, Jen and the frog. I was looking for it, um, but because I wanted to ask more questions on it. So I really actually got to find it now So because I need to make more curriculum for, for the class. Because I guess Sherry's not going to be there um, Friday. And she wanted me to come up with some kind of work for that for the class um, and I was just going to base it around those videos that, that we saw. Um, <clears throat> I think of other things to, to put for banking and stuff like that. I, mean, I guess I don't need the videos, but, but since, you know, she's taken a lot of effort, Brittany, to, to teach you guys stuff, I thought maybe we could do it. Um, not too hard, not a project like the poster boards, of course, but just like 10 questions, the, the new one. But I think we we'll save that for um, Friday. Um, so, Tyler, are we? Do you have anything to work on? Um, at well, our original time was set for twelve o'clock to twelve thirty, but then we moved it for your custodial class to eleven twenty-five. Because Royce is it? Royce, you're at uh, ten forty-five now, right? Yes. Okay. Um, so. Do you so 9 to 11 
uh, what day? Oh, Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Okay, so that takes you out of class on Monday. Okay, so I'll only have you Tuesday. Um, just trying to figure out the schedule here. Um, so, Royce, since Cloud is not here today, why don't we move? Why don't I give you Cloud's time at 10 10 for today? Okay. And that way we'll get off, we'll get out earlier because we're doing, we're taking up the other time. So your time today will be 10, 10 to 10, 40. All right. And then um, let me write that down so I don't forget. This. Ten, 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 forty, And then Tyler... We will have your time today, and I'll just, we'll just do the regular, oh, wait a minute. Okay, so we're working on the poster board, and we'll use our time for that. So, I'm sorry, Royce, keep your time at 11.25, and then Tyler, I'll just bump you to 10.10 10 to 10.40. Okay, is that okay, Royce? 11.25? Yeah, keep your yeah, keep your regular time because I'll just put Tyler up where Clad is, just for just for today, and okay. then this will be Tyler, Tyler from ten ten to ten forty, and then I'll get uh, see if I can get a hold of Sam so we can work on Apex. We we'll, can work all day on that, which we so need. Okay, so and then Eleanor, your time of course is nine thirty to ten o'clock. Okay, so you're and then um, so. Okay, um, so Royce, I know you have, were you, did you find more pictures for your poster board, Royce? I mean, the pictures I have is nice. Right, but you needed to have something for the, what, I'm trying to remember what your board looked like. Did you have, what did you have for a short term goal? Um, an office job. Oh yeah, did you put the price? Of the of the pay that you might you know could could possibly get per hour on that. Let me pull up your uh, work here. Um. No. Okay. So we can work on that on our one on one then. All right then. Um. So is so while I have you guys as a class, is there anything that you guys want to share or talk about or or discuss? Graduation, maybe? What's going on with graduation this year? What, what do you guys know about it so far? It is June 2nd. And that's, and that's for sure. That's just... June 2nd on a Wednesday, yeah. Dad, world. And it's at what time did you say two o'clock? Okay. Okay. And our, yeah. And ours is um for, for project search is that third, I think Sherry said. Oh, okay. Uh, not either. Okay, then I won't I won't say anything about the date because I guess we don't. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, so you have to do your own speech for Project Search, and then you ask uh, Sue to say your speech for Laura Ruff, right? And then Royce, you need to say your speech for Project Search, and then you ask Sherry to do your speech for Laura Ruff, right? Yep. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it doesn't have to be a long speech, you know. And, and then... Oh, that's right. For you guys, this is your last year. <gasps> Ooh, that is going to be a sad day. That's going to be sad. What? Yeah. 
Yeah. That's, are you are you sad about that? No. Well, you have to stay in contact with me, you know. Yeah, you gotta let me know. Give me a text or a call. <coughs> how you doing? And when you get a new job and how that's going and how it is driving and because I don't want to lose contact with you guys. You know, I care about care about you guys and want to know that you're doing well and when you're doing when things are going good and even when things are going bad. You know, let me know what's going on with you guys. Okay. And I, and I will actually remind you when you leave to, to stay in contact with me. So, okay. So let's see. So we don't know really much about graduation. I do know, I do know that we get to have that room next door to the classroom. I get to, we get to be, be in there and I know. Okay. 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 Um, you okay, Omar? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. I am fine. Yeah, are your eyes tired? <laughs> nah. Okay. Bye. I'm not tired. Okay. Um. Hmm. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't think Sherry has it set because of COVID. I don't know exactly what she's doing for graduation. All I know is we got the other classroom, and I think she's going to have a cake, but we're not going to eat at all there. She may not even have tables. She might just have chairs. Um, and I guess she's going to keep all the families separate, you know, in that room. I think there's three families. There's Gordon's and Royce and Tyler's family that's going to be there. Four. Yeah. I'm only having one. And who are you bringing, Royce? My mother. Your mom. Okay. okay. Um, because we decided not to, because we originally thought she's not going to attend to any of my graduations because I already graduated from high school, so there was no need to attend to the other two. But that's like, you didn't get in the product search one, not, and not to attend the lower one. You're not going to go to the lower one? No. 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 Why? She, she has work. Oh. But you're going to go to the lower rough one, though, right? I have to. Well, you don't have to. You don't have to participate in any of them if you don't want to. I mean, yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to do the the ceremonies. That's just it's just a ceremony, an, an exit uh, thing that you do, tradition, an exit tradition that you do. I remember when I graduated from a college, one of my buddies. I was so upset that he wasn't going to walk and get his, his uh, you know, do the ceremony. And I'm like, all these years and all this, this struggle to get through college and you're not going to walk down the aisle and graduate and do that ceremony. He goes, no, I don't want to. And I'm like, no, you have to come with us because me, him, and Elliot and Delina were all really close, especially me, him, and, and Elliot because we went through all the same classes together every year. And um, so we got to be real close. I called him my adopted son. Um, but, um, and he didn't graduate. He did not, he, he graduated, but he didn't do the ceremony because you don't, you don't have to. Um, so, yeah, I mean, you, you, I'm just throwing that out there. You don't have to do the ceremony if you don't want to. I always, I always suggest it because it's, it, that's kind of just a, a day to celebrate all the hard work and effort and and everything that you went through to to get to that point where you're exiting you know and it's a time to celebrate you and and all that so i always encourage to go you know because because of that because it is a lot a lot of work to get your your uh to to exit right get your diploma or degree or whatever it is you're getting um so that's totally up to you that's totally up to you um, I have no idea what the Laurel Ruff graduation is going to look like. I did not go to the last one because of the COVID was rampant at that point. So I just like refused to go anywhere public that I didn't need to go. 
Um, this, this year is a little bit different. Um, I think a lot of people are getting vaccinated and, and I don't know. It's mine. He's, he's being very, uh, sorry. He's being very needy this morning. He's never liked it. He's a terrier, so he's never needy. Kind of surprising. I have an ottoman next to my chair and he, he's a smaller dog. So he's laying on my ottoman. Because he wanted he wanted me to hold him. I was holding him this morning, but I'm like, you need to get down because I have to be on Zoom. I can't be able to hold in the dog. And so, <laughs> so he's he stop. He he barks a lot. But anyway. So um anyway, um so back to the poster boards. Um okay, so Tyler, that poster board you have behind you, is that the new one that Sherry was supposed to have give the students, or is that one that she gave the last time? Okay. Yeah. So you want to share the stuff that you have? Have you printed anything already for it? Um, you have? Do you have it on um, Google Drive at all? Your picture that you something that you can share with me so I can see without having you holding up the pictures. Well, you have the pictures that you printed. Do you have that on Google Docs, like on a page? Oh well, if you have them scattered, it's it's okay. And you could have you could have them scattered. I mean, you know that would have been like Royce. Uh, his he just has a a page of all the pictures that he's going to use for his poster board. Later on, he'll have to resize them because I'm not sure how big your poster board actually is. So it's kind of hard to judge um, how big to make the pictures when you print them because we don't know how many you're going to have and and want to put on the poster mm -hmm. board. Right, and you can resize them too once you get them in your Word doc, right? You can make them big, you can make them smaller, you know. Um, so yeah, you can pick really whatever pictures you want and just adjust them. The only thing is when you're getting when you're getting a small picture, and this is what I ran into with Eleanor, when you're getting a small picture and the picture is small online and you get it and you want to make it big, like I forget what there was a picture of we had I don't know, but it was it was small. So when I got it on the page, I thought, oh, well, I can just make it bigger. When I made it bigger, it made it blurry. Yeah, and it didn't look good. And I then I told Eleanor, no, we got to find something else because why have a blurry picture, right? Right, right. So what I did because see, when you search your images and then you and you click on a picture or you. What I wasn't doing, I wasn't clicking on the pictures. I would uh, right-click on it and then copy image and then put put it from there onto my blank page, right? But that one was small. That was one of the pictures I wanted for Eleanor's project. And when I made it bigger, that also made it blurry. So what I did is I went back in and clicked on the picture and then that made it bigger and it was clear. And then I right-clicked on it to copy the image and then that worked great because you can resize it smaller and it's not going to make it blurry going from bigger to smaller, right? Just if you get a small picture, you can't really make it bigger. It doesn't work that way. Um, so, <clears throat> but, uh, <laughs> sorry. Um, so, let's see. Okay, so on your poster boards, I'm not sure if I made this clear, and I'm not sure if I said this yesterday. I may or may not have, but I wanted you guys to have a short-term goal and a long-term goal. At first, I, I think I did make it clear that I said either one, but I wanted both on there. Something to go for that's easier to obtain, and then something that's long-term, like a house or retirement money or a car that's going to take you a lot longer, right, to save. The savings, yeah. But if you do savings, um, and I did, I do think I mentioned this, I, I would like for you to put what, why would it be a good idea to have savings? Don't put that 
question there, just put like savings and then put little words around the savings, like um, okay, car repairs, um, pet uh, vet bills, um, things like that. Things that come up that's unexpected, right? And it's usually car repairs and vet bills. Is, that's what usually comes up for me. Um, so yeah, and those come up and it's like, oh, all of a sudden you got a big, huge, you know, thousand dollar bill to get your car fixed and you have to drive. You have to get from point A to point B. So you kind of don't have a choice to get your car. Cars are very expensive. I was just talking to my daughter about that this morning. Cars are expensive because even if you buy a brand new car off the showroom floor, that's not to say you're not going to have car problems at some point, right? You might have a perfect running car for a year. Then later on, you might have something go wrong with the transmission or probably not the brakes, not at that time, but, but there's always going to be issues that come up. So typically people can't afford a brand new car. So they'll get one, you know, three, four years old. In my case, I got one that's a 2008 that's still old. Um, and I've got all kinds of repairs now. It's, it's, I've been in without a car for the last week or so because it's, it's really expensive to fix. I've been taking it to shop, to shop, to shop, to get different opinions. Um, now I finally figured out what the problem is and it's going to be expensive to fix it. So that kind of thing, car repairs are always going to come up. If you have pets, that's always going to come up too. I'm trying to think of other things. Oh, um, like birthdays, right? Family birthdays come up. Um, it's like, or Christmas, you know, holidays, family birthdays, you can put that words there. And when you do the the savings like that, like I said, you don't have to put details of um, j just general things that you would have, that you would get into your savings for, right? And just put a couple of words, car repair, family birthdays, holidays, just a few, you know, like four different things that you can save for. And then that'll take care of that. And then the same thing with the, with the long-term stuff. But if you do... Like if you put a car there, okay, what does it take to keep a car? Well, you have to have car insurance. You have to have the registration. You have to put gas in there. So those three things can go around the car, right? So, and then you could probably put a, a guesstimate. So just, just um, so you can have more on your poster board. And if you guys think of anything else that you can put on your poster board with, all, with that information, without having it too much stuff. I don't want it like the COVID boards where it's a whole bunch of information on each picture. It doesn't have to be a whole bunch of information, just snippet of information, like the car, the price of the car, and then what goes with it. And then you, around it, the car, you can put the little pictures, the car insurance and the gas, picture of a gas station. And then, you know, maybe uh, the price of the gas. I don't know, what is it now? 350 or something like that. Yeah, so... Like oh, that, just to make your poster board look neat and try and print. Um, is Sherry letting you guys print the pictures at school? Yeah, I've been I print at home and my grandmother's place. Well, here's my question though because if Sherry lets you print in color at school, use a school printer. Oh, is it? I, I, print it yeah, I remember trying prints being color once. They always turn out black and white. I've printed in color before. I've printed the um, brochures, the Project Search brochures I made. I printed those in color there. That was printed there. So it does print color. Um, reason being is because Kaiser pays for those ink cartridges. And if you're going to print a bunch of colored pictures, I would suggest printing them out there. You might want to ask Sherry if you can, but I don't print anything in my printer uh, that's colored because it's so expensive. The black ink cost me, I don't know, like 25 bucks for an ink cartilage. That's just the black. And it's like, if I don't need to print in color, I never print in color because it's too expensive to replace the ink. So if you, I'm just saying, if you can print it school, you know, it is a school project. So if you can print it school in color, do it over there. That's on my suggestion. You don't have to, if you're not worried about the price of the ink, then, then by all means, print it at home. It's easier. You got it there. But here's the thing too. Print it in black and white first to see if you 
you got this side with you, right? Because you don't want to print a bunch of color pictures and then realize, oh, oops, I need bigger pictures or I need them smaller. So print them first in black and white. Or if you really want to get technical with it, you can uh, measure your poster board and then measure the size of pictures, how many pictures, well, that's kind of hard to do, but measure how many, count how many pictures you're going to have on the poster board and see how, how many, like if you have a five inch picture, five by five inch picture, how many of those can you fit on that poster board, right? Like you can pull, you can cut out a five inch square on a piece of paper and then trace it on the back of your, your poster board and see if it'll fit. Or cut out, you know, cut out six pit, six uh, squares, five by five, and then put them on your board and see if they fit. And if they fit, then you're good to go, right? But you don't want to have five little tiny pictures on a big old poster board and have all that blank space. And you want to fill up that space. So make your pictures big enough to where you can fill up that space without covering the entire board. You know how to make the boards, you know, uh, even, right? Because you've done one before. Um, so, yeah. Um, and then you can always print medium-sized pictures and then make your fonts bigger or smaller so you can cover the, so you can cover the board. Also, you can put, um, you can put paper, a color paper, I mentioned this before, a color paper behind your, well, that's actually blurred out. Ha, <laughs> because it's, yeah, it's, it's funny because I didn't know blue picked that up, but I get it at a certain angle, it disappears. Um, but if you put a um, a color picture around your around your picture, like if this was a regular picture, I have an orange orange uh, construction paper behind that looks really professional. It looks really good, and it it's just adds the color to your board. So I've suggested before the color pr paper is only like a dollar. Inspection paper does not have to be toilet paper. Um, just a suggestion, something to make it fun and comfortable. Um, oh, another thing I did with Eleanor's, just a suggestion, is I put um, a border around the pictures. So when I put when I put um, the picture, I pasted it on a on a Google Doc, right, and I put a border around the picture and I put it in color. So you can do that too if you're gonna print out in color anyway. So that's what I did with Eleanor's and it looks it looks pretty good. Look I can show you. Let's see if I can let me see if I pull it. Um, let me see. Um, 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 board. Is that what it's called? Visual board? As soon as I pull it up, I'll, I'll share. Is it okay if I share your page um, with the class, Eleanor? Um, yes, yes, please. Okay. okay. So let me, wait, let me wait till it loads. For some reason, the picture is like going line by line, I guess. Okay, so let me get back full screen so I can share. And this one. Okay, for some reason it's not letting me. Huh, there we go. You can do it. Computer is being weird this morning. Okay. So it's there. Okay, so can you guys see my screen? Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is the picture actually that I was talking to you about that um it was really blurry when I made it bigger until I clicked on it. And then the when I clicked on it, I made the picture bigger on the internet, and then I was able to to copy it from there, and it was a, a little bit bigger. So I put her font in pink. Guess what she wanted? 
so she can cut this out and glue it at the top of the board or the bottom or wherever the sides find to. But you see how the, the that's a big picture? So again, we're going to have to see how big the poster board is. Now, this is what I was talking about. Like, go to the movies. We, we guesstimated. Well, actually, I think I looked online for this. The tickets are $14. Um, you have a picture of the theater. It, I, I, they had a picture that was super cool. It was at night with all the lights on. It looked really nice. But I thought when you print it out, it's going to use a lot of black ink. And I thought, no, nah, it's not going to look good printed out. So I got a lighter picture instead. And this is the border that I put on. Now, I don't know if you guys know how to put the border. But if you click on the picture itself, it'll give you this little border. And then from there, you can look up. Where is it? I wonder where it was. You guys know how to, oh, border color right here. So this is a border color and you just click on it and you can change your border to whichever color we have this dark green because I thought it matched the picture well. And then you can also, so there's your colors. You can also customize your color. If you want to match something specific in the picture, which would be cool. Um, and over here, the border weight. We have it set right now to eight point, and that's that thickness. But you can go really super thick. Actually, that was kind of cool. And, and that would be your border for instead of pudding, or you could be in addition to that construction paper behind that. Like you can have a, a lighter green or a white. No, you wouldn't want to use white. But you could have another color behind this even, right? Um, so the border weight, we have it to eight, like I said. Actually, I could make it a little bit bigger. What was that to 12? Um, and then you can change a color border. And um, I don't know what image options is. Oh. But, um, let me do that again. Oh. So... There's different things you can do to play with there. And then, see, for the movies, this would be your main picture here, right? But then at the movies, then this would probably be a little bit smaller. So you can make this smaller. Because you would buy, you would want to buy popcorn. Who doesn't want popcorn when you go to the movies? Um, and then we have a soda. She picked this picture out. We did a red border because it was red. Um, so you put soda. So, okay, so these things are not lined up. Like, there's nothing, the price of the popcorn is not there because it doesn't matter because when we print them, we're going to be cutting them out anyway. So, it doesn't matter that they're lined up or not. Um, so, we put soda at $4, popcorn at 6 which is actually probably like 10 I think. M&M. And then, so that's a choice of candy. And we put candy $4 and another picture of the M&Ms and some candy there. Um, so this is what we've been working on. And now all the pictures she has though, revolves around going to the movies, right? So this would be the main focus and we've got the price of the tickets there. And then everything around that movie picture will be the popcorn, the soda and the candy, right? Cause that goes with the movies, right? So that would be a short term goal. Now we have to work on her long. And get the pictures for that, but that's the kind of thing I'm talking about is is um, is um, having a focal point of your main goal, and then what what do you need to support that goal? What do you need to go with it? Like like in the car case, with the insurance, the gas, with the movie short term goal would be the you know price of the ticket, of course, and then the the candy and the soda and stuff like that. So that's the kind. So for every goal you have, you should have. A lot of, uh, several, not a lot, but several pictures around that to support that main goal, right? Or, or something that goes with it. If you want to buy a bike, then you're going to need a bike helmet. You might want to buy hand pads or knee pads or something to go with that. Or maybe a water bottle, maybe a, a holder for a water bottle on your bike, maybe reflectors or a basket for your bike. So that kind of thing, right? Um, <clears throat> so. So that's the kind of thing I'm looking for. Um, any questions? Complaints? Nothing? Come on, you guys.
Any comments? Do you guys want to talk about anything? But now that we got that down, then we'll spend our one on one. Uh, we'll spend our one on one with them with the poster boards and stuff. So, so any anyone want to talk about anything? No. Tyler, Eleanor, nobody. Hot. What? Really? How come you didn't go? Wow. So who's staying there with you? Just you? Wow. Have you been by yourself for a long time before? Oh, wow. Well, if you need anything, let me know. Okay. I mean, a week's a long time. So if you need a, I don't know, if you need something, let me know. So I can help you if I can. Okay. Okay. So you have enough food for the week? Yeah. Okay. And you have a, I'm trying to think of where you're at. Uh, is there a store nearby too, in case you need something quick? That's CVS right there, right? Kind of, kind of. Long thing. Is that CVS or is that Walgreens? Oh, that's right. Well, thank God there's a jack in the box there. <laughs> okay, good. Did, did they leave you any money? Okay. Okay. So I think it sounds like you'd be okay. But like I said, if you need anything, give me a call and I can help. Okay, um, so let's see. We've got. Okay, so I think we'll pick this up on our one on ones. And Eleanor, why don't we just stay on now since I have your. your um, did I exit out of it? No, I still have it up. So, Eleanor, just stay on with me and we'll do our time now. And then um, you guys know when your time is. And Tyler, today you have a new time, right? It is 10 10. So 10 10 and Royce your regular time at uh, 10 45. I follow 11 25. No, your time is at 10 45. 10 45. It got changed. It got changed because we were doing Tyler's um, custodial class. But since that since that's now we're not doing that. Um, I'm going to use that time for Sam and working on Apex. So that's why you're now up to 1045. And then the rest of the day is going to be with Sam with Apex. So. Yeah, but you recently said 1125. You, re you recently just said that. Okay, so I'm going to have Eleanor right now. And I'm going to have Tyler take Clad's spot today because Clad's not here. Tyler is going to be with me from 10, 10 to 10, 40. And then you're right after that, 10, 45 to 11, 15. All right. Yeah, and that's your regular time. And All right. I, unless I need to change that for the day, like I, like I did with Tyler today. Okay. I'm going to actually, I need to change my schedule because I have you done for twice, but I got your new schedule up there at 10, 45. 10.45 to 11.15, okay? So everyone clear on their time, and Eleanor, just stay with me. Okay, guys? All right. Royce, 10.45. So I'll see you guys later, and um, we'll be working on your poster boards. Okay. Bye, guys. Bye.